Overwatch 2's PvE story missions might have finally run its course and may be cancelled. Fears Overwatch 2 developers. Hi everybody, my name is Abby. Welcome to the video. This is a video that I really was not looking forward to doing because I'm a huge fan of the PvE, the lore, and all that type of stuff. But you know, all good things come to an end, even if they were a little bit underwhelming in the case of the PvE story missions. So what has happened? There's a Kotaku article where the Overwatch 2, there's a developer who came out and talked about the story missions. And I'm going to read it out to you guys. You can treat this like a little podcast and, you know, let me get through it for you. Listen to my beautiful voice and let's get through this together. So, the article starts off with, In the last few months, Overwatch 2 fans have grown increasingly worried about the state of the hero shooter's story missions. These missions were a pillar of the sequel's initial pitch at BlizzCon 2019. The shiny new thing that merited making a new game instead of patching the original one like most live service projects but since Overwatch 2's October 2022 launch, only one set of missions has been released in August 2023. Currently, there is no release window for more. For Blizzard, the January Xbox layoffs primarily affected developers working on these missions. What's more is that recent changes to OW2's menu suggest that story missions are the very least being deprioritized. So if you guys haven't noticed in the main menu where you know you can access quick play and all that type of stuff before missions were at the forefront with quick play and arcade but now they've been moved into like a smaller tab and the hero mastery has kind of come up which is you know that's a sign of basically them saying yeah you know pve is basically over anyways so since the 2019 announcement overwatch 2 has transformed into something almost unrecognizable from those original promises what was pitched as a sequel that would exist alongside the first hero shooter became a free-to-play title that completely replaced the first game, leaving the original 6v6 rule set unplayable. Blizzard gutted the, pre the promised PvE modes and outright cancelled the hero mode, which would, have which would have added replayable levels and customizable skill trees. Now there are just three 30-minute missions available, and those are relegated to the smallest sections of OW2's game mode screen. Now some of the developers fear that their years of work will not even see the light of day. So Kotaku got a chance to chat with several ex-Blizzard employees, all whom spoke on the condition of anonymity for fear of retribution about the past, present, and future of OW2's campaign missions. So, the difficulties of developing OW2 story mode. According to a former developer, Blizzard's plan was to release Overwatch 2's campaign in multiple content drops over several years, but, but the project had been tied up in pipeline issues dating back more than five years. Oh my goodness. The team was told the intent was to drop three missions around every 18 months. They add that while the entire campaign may not be ready to be shipped, every mission is reportedly in some degree of completion at Blizzard. According to that some to the same source, those levels can range from fully playable to still in concept. Guys, before I go on with the article, can we please acknowledge the fact that the higher-ups at Blizzard were telling the developers at Blizzard that they wanted a new PvE mission every 18 months? Are you stupid? Anyways, let's move on with this. Working on the campaign missions was apparently held up in pursuit of a nebulous thing called Blizzard Quality, a term used to describe a standard the company aspires to. According to one source, this became a crutch that was frequently used to avoid making calls that would move the development of the story missions forward. Blizzard Quality is a justification to essentially piss about forever and ever, redoing the same work over and over, the source said. Some example goes, hmm, but is it Blizzard quality? It's always leadership or game directors deciding they need to spend extra time. So honestly, if they could just have made any decision, the game would have shipped years ago. My goodness, this is really revealing some stuff. Another source said this reliance on Blizzard quality may have contributed to frequent iterations on the original concept, but wasn't the only issue the team faced while trying to work on an OW2 story mission. Overwatch's PvP gameplay turned out to be very difficult to adapt for PvE, mostly because of how differentiated and PvP-oriented the hero kits are, the source told Kotaku via text message. Sources described internal sentiment about the story missions as never outright negative but increasingly pessimistic. One source says that as concerns grew about how they were shaping up leadership, including um, uh, leadership, uh, excuse me, one second. So some described, sources described internal sentiment around the missions as never negative, but increasingly pessimistic. One source said that as concerns grew about how they were shaping up, leadership, including director Aaron Keller and executive director Jared Noos, would try to rally the team and in some cases avoid questions entirely. You had designers, programmers, artists, quality assurance, and all disciplines on the team constantly making suggestions and ideas to improve or trying to do the best that we could, but it was all either shot down by a few gatekeepers 
or just there was no point, there was no time, they told Kotaku. Almost every single team, town hall, there were questions about what do we do if it doesn't succeed. I don't feel confident about that it will perform well. What are we going to do about players being disappointed? It was met with either don't worry about it, it'll be fine, we have confidence, trust us. Okay, that's really interesting. My goodness, I have so much to say about this. Sources say that while Overwatch 2 was pitched to fans as a fresh start with new ideas and new content, the game's competitive suit was always the priority and the story missions suffered because of it. This lines up with what Blizzard openly said, like Aaron Keller's May 2023 announcement that the team was gutting the PvE to prioritize the live game, but the decision to cancel Hero Mode was made late in the development process. Two months after the game's early access launch and six months before the company made the official announcement, PvP was understood to be the core of the game's success. Everybody still cared a lot about PvE, and that includes the team leadership. According to one source, the argument was made internally that Overwatch 2 needed to double in size to give both PvP and PvE the resources Blizzard believed it needed, but there was dissent on that front. They used to say all the time that we would essentially need two 400 people teams, one for PvP and one for PvE, to have the personnel needed. A source said, I don't think um that's true there were already too many cooks so do the xbox layoffs spell more trouble for ow2's campaign so has development on the story missions halted one source said activision blizzard wanted the first batch of story missions to do serious numbers to justify completing the campaign another said that those missions didn't do well at all both financially or in terms of player sentiment before i continue this like what the hell were they thinking uh that uh at active blizzard like when they were thinking like oh no we will first wait and see if they will do good numbers financially and in terms of player sentiment and then we'll give the next pve like they do realize that just giving a half to bake cake is just going to be that it's a half to bake cake nobody's going to want to eat it they want to finish product nobody wants to to buy for it and the only people that are going to eat that half baked cake are people that are starving so i feel for the people that were starving and for the people that wanted to pay for an actual good product uh, and experience this is ridiculous that activision blizzard was sitting there like no we're not going to continue the pve story until it makes us some good money that is absolutely stupid anyways so going on with this the january xbox layoffs affected several members of the overwatch 2 team including several developers who worked on the pve and events this doesn't confirm a cancellation but it doesn't spark hope that those missions will see light of day if they're going to make more of that stuff they just laid off all the people that were working on it maybe there's some other way they could do it but most of the people have been laid off from that pillar the overarching sentiment from the people at kotaku uh spoke to was that in spite of dev issues everybody on the overwatch team wanted the story missions and pve to stand with the competitive game however it doesn't sound like the higher ups felt the same way it doesn't seem like even from a business perspective that activision or microsoft has any faith in the pve okay i mean we knew activision doesn't but the fact that they even say microsoft doesn't have faith in overwatch's pve i mean that pretty much confirms that it's been cancelled right like if we got the last pve which was the the hero like tower defense mode as a permanent I, I believe it's a permanent game option if it's not then it really should be but you know that aside that aside let's just talk for a second guys um the the tldr of all of this is the devs had too much work active blizzard didn't want to hire new developers to separate the pve and pvp into two different teams and active blizzard's whole philosophy was that we want to release the you know the three missions and then see player sentiment and player interest but if you're going to make people wait uh, more than a year for the next set of missions it, nobody's going to be interested like i'm going to be brutally honest like th that's not even progressing the story at all i i sincerely do hope that they do continue the story in the form of books or comics or whatever because i do want some form of overwatch story but the fact that like the PvE campaign and all of this is basically done and this is how we get to find about it is, ab is absolutely disgusting. Obviously, this is not the fault of any of the developers. This is not the fault of any of the people that worked on the PvE as we heard and the developers even shared. Everybody from the leaders down to the workers in terms of Team 4, they wanted the PvE and the people at Active Blizzard just didn't. And now it seems like even the people at Microsoft don't want it. So... You know, we may get some small PvE content like we do, like this tower defense mode, like the Lilith, you know, um, PvE, like Blizzard World mission that we got in Halloween. Like, we'll get, like, this small type of stuff, um, like, you know, alternate universe game modes and things like that. But maybe as far as actual story missions go, I think that's over. Like, the actual main PvE draw of the story mode missions, it's over for Overwatch in that regard. It's disappointing. It's disheartening. But this is the harsh truth and honestly i wish in some alternate universe we would have had a team so big that was doing both sides but you know 
who knows maybe down the line if blizzard continues to make good money and microsoft sees the chance to perhaps try investing a little bit into the pve maybe they could do it if anybody has been following the channel for a while like years ago when we were still in overwatch one there was something that i said that kind of is true now as proven by the developers i used to say that what is like if each hero has a skill tree how are they going to account for when a hero gets a rework like you would then have to go and change up the the hero skill tree all the time right like for example if orisa had her shield and her old kit with the pull and everything and then she gets reworked for the pvp and because they're in the same base game and there'd be so much weird coding if they were like two different heroes that would mean that the previous orisa kit is just useless now right or, or they would have to have two different orisas one for the pvp and one for the pve that would be a coding and just a very difficult nightmare to have in a game like overwatch we already know this uh, based on you know what the developers have said about how much of a nightmare it was to get diva to work uh, two characters in one so trying to have another set of two characters in one could be a nightmare you know i feel for the overwatch 2 developers this is very depressing news it it is pretty much a confirmation that the pve story is over it's cancelled now will the story continue in some other way or things like that we don't know we genuinely don't know what microsoft wants for what it's worth microsoft could just give overwatch 2 enough people and money to just keep doing the live service of hey make skins balance the game make heroes keep it moving and that's it and if that's what's overwatch 2 going to be then that's just disappointing it's very very depressing i want to hear what you guys think in the comment sections down below let me know what are your thoughts on this entire situation i will be reading and i will be doing my best to respond so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. With that being said, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe. It helps me with the algorithm, helps me grow the channel, helps support me for free. And if you want more Overwatch everything content, including guides, coaching, live streams, and all sorts of entertainments and rants and all sorts of things, feel free to hit, you know, feel free to stick with the channel. You know, I appreciate it. Just subscribe. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one.